From Louisiana's News Channel, this is 9 News at 10. Good evening to you, friends. I'm Greg Merriweather. Well, with Thanksgiving now right around the corner, you've seen a lot of turkey giveaways. You've probably seen some of them right here on WAFB. With inflation, though, still out of control, is that actually pushing more and more folks to events like this? Our Lester Dewey has more on the rising costs that all of us will be facing this Thanksgiving. Lester. Yeah, Greg, one group claims the cost of Thanksgiving staples will rise for a third consecutive year. And some people that I spoke with at a giveaway today say the place that's hitting their wallets the hardest is at the grocery store. There is real excitement here. Folks just looking to bring home a turkey for their families this Thanksgiving. We were able to do 300 turkeys this year. Baton Rouge Constable Terrica Williams and friends gave out turkeys and all the Thanksgiving fixings to people in the community. One lady said that she's raising her grandkids and she said if I didn't have this my grandkids wouldn't have a Thanksgiving. So you know I get emotional because that's a blessing to be able to bless other people with a turkey for children. This woman came to pick up a turkey for her sister. Everybody's struggling now because grocery has gone up tremendously and everybody's trying to cook something for their families and they don't all, all the people don't have something for to cook for their families. Take a burden off me everything you know because I'm uh, on fixed income and everything so it helped me out a whole lot. So the event started at 3 and right now it's 315 if you take a look behind me there are no turkeys left. Americans will have to dig deeper into their wallets to enjoy that Thanksgiving meal once again this year. That's according to research by Consumer Energy Alliance. Prices are up for just about everything from cranberries to sweet potatoes and even green beans. What we've seen in the last three years is just going to continue into next week with higher prices predominantly caused by higher energy prices. Consumer Energy Alliance President David Holt says inflation is tied directly to the fact that we're paying more for energy and that we're not developing enough of our own energy in this country to get around that problem. Diesel goes into farming. Uh, natural gas actually goes into fertilizer for farming. So anytime higher diesel prices or natural gas prices, the farming community pays more. And so we found this year that the farming community is paying almost $10 billion more for farming than they have in previous years. So that's adding to the cost of food we're buying. It's just times that we're going through and it's a blessing to be able to give back and give somebody something. If a turkey is what it takes to make someone have a happy Thanksgiving, that's the plan to make them have a happy Thanksgiving. So in its annual Thanksgiving dinner survey, the folks of the American Farm Bureau Federation say the price for a classic Thanksgiving feast may be a little less this year compared to prices back in 2022. However, the cost is still 25% higher compared to in 2019 before the pandemic. Greg. All right, Lester, thank you for that look.